Good morning everyone, welcome back to another video. It feels so weird to be back on camera. I feel like I haven't picked up my camera in absolutely ages, so I really apologize for that. I didn't have a video on Sunday, and the truth is, is because I went to a bottomless brunch on Saturday, and let's just say things got a little out of hand. Um, so I was feeling really under the weather on Sunday, so I'm really sorry about that. Um, but I am back today for another video and today I'm just going to do a little vlog because I haven't vlogged in a really long time and I thought it might be nice to have a little Monday vlog to start the week. I am up and ready. It's a fresh new start to the week and I'm going to put my all into this week and I've got a lot to do. So let's get cracking. So the first thing that I'm going to do is sort out my office slash clothing area um i have been sort of living out of here really because we've been going to like brunches and now stuff's back open i've been like going to the pub and trying to find stuff to wear and makeup to put on etc etc just had me like panicked like you know when you're trying to get ready in your room and you're just opening drawers and throwing stuff around that's what the situation has been so my desk currently looks like this there's just clothes and stuff all over it so I'm gonna try and get that sorted today hang all my clothes up um, and then yeah just make sure I've got a really nice clean space in my office I also need to sort out this down here which is all the stuff from my car because I sold my car well yeah sold it for scrap because it was worthless but I sold my car um, so I took, I like quickly took everything out of my car, so I've got my like dash cam, I've got all the like scream wash and like antifreeze and everything that I just shoved in a bag and quickly brought up to my room before the scrap guys came to take it. So I've got to sort this out today, I've got to sort out all those sheen bikinis, I'm going to organise them and put them into the bags they came into, so I've got my summer wardrobe ready, got some recycling to take out. I'm then going through all my clothes and putting them on Depop or Vinted. So I'm going to go through the whole of my wardrobe, sort everything out, and I am going to sell, hopefully sell, most of this here. So hopefully most of this will be gone because it's just doesn't fit me anymore or I'm not really liking it. It's not really a summer wardrobe the summer wardrobe that I want it to be anyway, so I'm going to sort all of this out as well. Um, mind the mess, here is my outfit for today. I've got some leggings on, they're thermal leggings, and I'm boiling in them, so I might have to change those a bit later. Um, and then I'm wearing this top, which is really old, from New Look, and it says, cats are forever, which they are. Um, this is just like a cleaning outfit, yeah, didn't really make an effort let's be honest I also have to take out this big bag of rubbish look I've been eating snacks in my room really bad um put all the washing away and then I need to apply for jobs and sort out my fridge do the washing up change the bed clothes bed covers even I think that's about it we'll see anyway we'll see so i'm gonna get started on sorting out all my clothes and i'll get back to you after this little time lapse from a few bits and bobs she is all very very clean and tidy so what I'm gonna do now while I take a breath because oh, I'm out of breath I'm actually sweating I don't know what the temperature is outside it was just raining but it's really hot so what I'm gonna do now now that this is all tidy and clean is I'm going to get I think I've got upstairs another clothing rail I'm going to sort all of these clothes out into what I'm going to sell and what I'm going to keep and then I think I'm going to put the clothing rail maybe on this side of the room um, I'm not going to leave myself much space but I'm going to hope to sell most of the stuff within like a week or two anyway so it will give me back the space because I really want to turn this into a proper working office for my YouTube channel and other ventures 
at the moment it's mainly used as like a dressing room and my clothes and makeup get thrown everywhere so that would be really good to get rid of some of these clothes so I'm gonna go and look for the other clothing rail <laughs> yeah so I think I found the clothing rail I think I've got all the parts to it I'm gonna try and assemble it here on the floor I don't really know what I'm doing because I don't even know where I got this from, to be quite honest with you. So She's done it. We have another clothing rail. Okay, let's put that there. Seems about right. Okay, I'm going to sell a lot of my clothes, like a lot of them. I'm selling this gorgeous pink coat, which I've showed you many times before because... I thought it would like be good for the spring but I've just never ended up wearing it and this was like £50 retail price um, I'm going to sell it for like £20 or something and then this misguided dress which I've worn a lot of times before well two or three times I'm going to be selling this plain green dress from Romwe really cute but I've just gained a bit of weight and the same with this brand new. I saw it first dress. I'm gonna sell that too. This little Shein top, which you've seen me wearing before. Basically just like almost everything from my wardrobe I'm gonna be selling. So, if you do want any of these things, please go and check out either my Depop, which is Yasmin Jade Pop, or my Vintage, which I think is YJ76 or something. It will be on the screen here and I'll show you what it is but I'll be selling on Vintage and Depop and I'm going to do a little experiment of like which sells better and I'm also going to buy some things off Vintage and Depop as well and just test out like both of the apps and see how they work so fingers crossed I sell some of these things. Um, what else have I put on there? So I've got this gorgeous um, Shein dress this top which doesn't really fit me from Brave Soul. This amazing great blue jumpsuit. Most of these things have still got the label on. This is from Pretty Little Thing, but I think I got this from Hidden Fashions, um, who sell like different brands and labels and stuff. I'm gonna sell this little Shein top, sleeveless, collared, really in fashion. Boohoo jumpsuit, everything's gonna be on there. You look crop top. This Primark two-piece sort of sage green suit which is gorgeous but doesn't fit me anymore. It's really cute new look sort of emerald green peplum top. Or just Miss Selfridge pale blue occasion dress with gold detailing. This pale blue shirt dress. This sheen sort of orangey jumper dress really cute for the autumn winter. This top which is also from Shein really cute for the autumn winter and it has a built-in mask which is really cute. Gorgeous brown, pretty little thing wrap around dress, which is so flattering. It's red boohoo dress, which you may have seen me worn before. Very plunging, very flattering on the boobies. This boohoo red suit. This cute Shein red frilly top. This red bodysuit with a cutout in the middle. This new look fleece. This sparkly black new look dress. The pretty little thing dress. This gorgeous Vera and Lucy one shoulder top. This Shein flared sleeve jumper dress. This pretty little thing zip up top. This Lizabelle sort of occasion wear top with the mesh and the feathering. This Envy little black dress. This which you saw in my Everything £5 haul. This is going to be really cheap on my Vinted. This Boohoo black plunge bodysuit. All my Vinted which I'll put on the screen here. All okay I'm going to go make some lunch even though it's actually really late for lunch. It's like to quarter past two i think let me check it's 16 minutes past two but alas i've been working hard oh i've got a package okay how exciting me talking about how i need to get all rid of all my clothes and then me buying more is this mine oh i know what this is okay so this is quite good for me for the selling clothes thing so I think this is actually some poly mailers um, that I needed for selling purposes. Let me get some scissors. Here we are. They've actually been wrapped in crazy. There's like a lot of 
a lot of um, tape going on here. Let's see what we've got. I ordered them in loads of different sizes. Wait, what is this? Oh, it's not the poly mailers. Shock horror. This is actually something that I recently bought from Vintage and it's from Primark and I wanted it when I saw it in Primark but didn't get it and this girl was selling it for cheap so I thought why not okay this is gorgeous let me show you this outfit so it's a mesh dress I have a dress that will go so beautifully underneath this let me show you properly just see my washing machine in there it's a beautiful mesh dress with flowers on I think that is going to be so cute I'll try and give you some close-ups of all the beautiful flowers and it's got a little flared sleeve adorable I'm going to try that on a bit later damn I thought it was my poly mailing bag so so that's annoying and then I also got a garden center catalog very exciting so let's have some lunch what will I have I might have some oh, slim pickings today haha <laughs> She's found for me. So this is new from Asta. It's a tomato and basil micro pasta. Microwave pasta, apparently takes two minutes. I'm gonna put some cheese on it, of course. Squeeze the pouch and put in the microwave for two minutes. Okay, I will. just finished my lunch it was absolutely delicious i really recommend that asda pasta thing um i did have quite a lot of cheese on it because you got to i had pasta last night for tea as well which is another issue I'm, I'm just a pasta gal okay i love a bit of pasta i'm so lucky that we've got a place near us actually that does really good pasta that's like a takeaway delivery place um it's kind of pricey but i feel like i'm not really like in the mood for takeaway sometimes but i also can't be bothered to cook dinner so like pasta i feel like isn't that unhealthy and it's quite a good option so we're really lucky to have that by us anyway enough about how much i love pasta um yeah i've just finished eating my lunch it is tipping it down outside i'm gonna try and show you but probably can't see that through the curtains but it's absolutely the road is drenched it's horrific out there yeah so i was gonna try and plant some of my bulbs in the garden but it's raining diagonally and i would get wet and probably injured to be honest it's storm weather torrential rain now it's hailing oh my god i don't know if you can hear that wow this weather is crazy. Oh my god, let me go see if you can hear it. Can you see it there on the on the slabs? It's bouncing like crazy. So yeah, obviously I am now not going to go in the garden. So what I'm gonna do instead is just listen to some music and do the washing up. I've just changed the bed sheets and folded the washing up and can you guys believe that I've just sold my first item on drum roll please blah, 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 vintage so my first sale was on vintage and it was a pair of pink like trousers that you might have seen on my Instagram before I've worn them a couple of times they're core trousers from Shein they're really nice um and i think they i think i put them on there originally at five pound but post and packaging was like two pounds something for second class royal mail and somebody offered three pound um with the same post and packaging so basically i've now uh, made four pounds 20 from something which i don't wear anymore which is really good we love reusing and recycling and yeah i'm really happy about it so already sold something how amazing right after selling however i did realize that i don't have any um what's it called like scotch tape or 
what's it called parcel tape um i don't have any of that so that's a problem i need to buy some of that and also i don't i don't have any <laughs> come on yasmin i don't have any printer ink that's it printer ink and you need to print your own label for this so that's a problem i'm gonna have to go to asda in a minute and do that buy some printer ink which is going to cost me 15 pounds probably which is annoying but alas this is good it's going to last me like a long while so i'm going to do that i'm sorting out these clothes that are on my desk these are some things that i've ordered from vinted i'm going to do a haul of those another time i've got a little setup here um i've got some pink tape and then i thought i've made these let me show you kind of embarrassed i don't know whether this is good or bad um but i did make a little illustration on adobe illustrator when i was just testing it out um i've stopped paying for it now because i've discovered i'm not an artiste okay but i did make these little frogs with acrylic nails um it's a little don't know if you can see it, a little flyer there and it says don't frog it to love yourself here's my little my little guy with his acrylic nails so cute i made this and then i thought oh i'm gonna sell some prints but then i realized i don't know they're not that good tell me if i'm wrong but i don't think they're that good so the free flyers that i ordered of these i'm gonna put them in with my vintage parcels that i send to people and just write a little thank you note on the back with my vintage handle and my depop handle and my instagram handle and i think that'll be really cute so i'm gonna do that i've got a couple of those um in this envelope here um so yeah i always like getting a personalized thank you note i think it's really really sweet so i am going to do that i'm here at my desk right now however i mean once i've got rid of this pile of clothes i'm gonna sit down and just do some boring like computer stuff you know like reply to emails i've got to cancel my car insurance i've got to look i've got to apply for this job um that i saw what else have i got to do <sighs> you know boring things that you just never get done those are the things i've got to do so i'm going to do that then i'm going to get to asda get some print ink then i'm going to come back here make myself tea and by that point it will be the end of the day i can't believe the day has gone so quickly well i am back um i've been had my tea and gone to the shop and bought some printer ink i only bought it in black because it's like 36 pounds which is just mind boggling for the black and coloured ink and my printer only cost me £30 so there's no way I'm spending £36 on ink when I only need black so I, this was £17 which is just as bad don't get me started um but I'm gonna try and attempt to put this in my printer we are I don't think I've changed my printer ink in literally probably years i think since i did my master's degree um that's probably the last time i actually had to print anything so here we go i think i remember how to do it okay it just printed the test page we're ready to go all i need to do is find my parcel tape which god knows where that is i'm gonna have to use normal tape I don't know if I've got any of that either, so that's a problem. Use this fancy gold tape, that might be an option. Let's see if this works. Because you never know. Oh, <laughs> it ran out. So that's great. Oh, lordy, lordy, lordy. I wonder if I've got any sellotape anywhere. Driving me crazy, baby. Blue. Little notepad. Oh, that's so cute. Oh. Okay, getting distracted. What is that? Oh, another little notepad. Okay. I've literally just got a box full of notepads haven't i yep knitting needles helpful <gasps> yes 
we found parcel tape two in fact parcel tapes oh my god the amount that i ran up and down the stairs and around the house looking for that and now i've got knitting needles on my floor just remembered as well that i also have a bunch of stickers um all those oh my god of stickers that i got from wish a while ago but we're gonna pop a few stickers in as well because why not it's my first order so why not make it a cute one whoa best do that before i actually tape it up that would be good okay i'm gonna put in oh my god who knows okay, i'm gonna do these two this one which says keep it simple very very sweet and then this one which is a mason jar sunflower how adorable i'm gonna put those in as well with the package and tape it up so exciting oh my god i'm gonna start my own little business I'm like such a business babe and literally i've sold one thing for like five pounds but i'm so excited this is addictive i'll show you with the name blocked out so you can't see but look how cute it says positive energy and i've got some shiny tape on there too and that's my first package ready to go out kind of addicted to vintage at the moment so um yeah if you've got any hints or tips let me know okay that's it for today's video i really hope you liked it i hope you can come with me on this vintage versus depop journey of selling all of my clothes and buying some new ones in the process as well i'm really excited for it i'm really excited to be diving into the world of um, reusable and recyclable fashion so please come along with me i will see you again in the next video i love you all so much have a great week and goodbye